You guys could wave. On the show. Bacon for the scholars. Let me put your, you up. Do I have my phone? Yeah. Message failed to send. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. And now you guys can see what we're seeing. You guys want to wave at your folks, families at home? What's up, scholars? Woo, way to go, presidential award winners. Go ahead, keep eating. 
Everybody's going to watch you eat for a little bit. <laughs> Let's push you guys back up. Miss Ryan, do you want to wheel the camera around? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth grade teacher's going to glam. You're going to glam. Come up. Wear your mask when you walk up, but when you get to you can the move camera, the, you can roll it around. around. Okay. When you get to Make sure Dory's on. Yeah. 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 Check them out. Check, oh, we get to turn your mic on. I'll turn mine off so we don't get feedback. Then you can say hi to whatever you can shout. Okay, is the camera good now? Yeah, yeah there you go. Right. Shout out to the camera coming around. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm not going to do all that. Shout out to the camera. Alright. Oh, that's so nice, Ian Lamar. Okay, here I'm coming down the aisle. Oh, I get both of them. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Smile. Are your parents you're having a good breakfast? Yeah, I'm having a good breakfast. Hello. Wait, here is the other way. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Jake's enjoying his breakfast. Say hello. Awesome. All right. Coming down. Hello. Can you see? Oh, got them all. Okay, good. All right, wave to the camera. Say hello to your. Say hello, Miss Dickerson. Peyton, wave. <laughs> all right, gotta get these guys over here. There you are. Hello. Say hi. Did she, are we getting her? You got her. Awesome. Oh, you don't have to get me. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna... Yeah, he finds something. Oh, we need to move that. Wave to your family. Hi, Ben. Hi, Say hello. And whoever else in my family's on there. Good job, guys. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Good job. You got it. Got it. All right. All right. Here we go. Turn. You can hit that. Turn it off. Mm -hmm. Get that there. That'll work. All right. Well, good morning, fifth graders. Good morning. We hope that you're enjoying your uh, presidential ward breakfast. In the past, I don't know if you've ever been the little brother or little sister of someone who won a presidential academic award. Do you remember we would do it over there in the gym because there were so many of you? Well, though, we don't have your families with us today live and in person. Um, I think by watching the camera go up and down the aisles, you saw that there's not as many of you achieving this award this year as in the past. 
Um, I think that is to say two things. One, our teachers did not phone it in and they made you work. They found the ways to make content difficult. You had to learn tough fifth grade content to get ready for middle school and they were not going to rest until you learned it. That's a big difference. There's teaching and there's learning. Everybody can teach whatever they want, but if you don't learn it, it's pointless. That's their pride. And you have all stepped up to the plate. So the second thing is, I don't think that was easy. You had to be independent a lot of the times. You had to be on your own a lot of the times. You had to step up and figure it out on your, on your, by yourself a lot of the times. And you still ended up working your way through that content and achieving uh, excellent scores and excellent grades. And for that, I think you should give yourselves a big round of applause. All right, so what we're going to do is call you up when we call your name. Um, actually, I'm going to read, I'll read the president's letter first. So I'm going to read uh, the, the letter from the president because it's the Presidential Academic Awards. And then we'll call you up one at a time. When you come up, take put your mask on real quick so we can do the mask thing. And you'll get your certificate. And you'll have a chance to smile in front of the other camera. All right, so I'm going to switch to the other camera in just a second. And then you can take your mask off and smile and wave as you go by that camera. All right, so everybody at home can get a nice, good close up of you. Why, Mrs. Cook? Because we know how photography works. Right? All right. Oh, wait, let me take this off so I can read. All right, here we go. From President Biden. Congratulations on receiving the 2021 President's Education Award. America is a country where we are one and unite through tough times. You are the future leaders of this great nation, and through your determination and resilience to push forward, you have reached this ultimate accomplishment of being recognized for this prestigious award. Dr. Biden and I are pleased to congratulate you on receiving the 2021 President's Education Award. We are honored to join your friends, family, school, and community in celebrating your wonderful achievement. Jill and I send our best wishes and blessings. Keep challenging yourself, be kind, and while we continue to fight the COVID-19 pandemic, be sure to wear a mask. All right, um, all right, here we go. Let me put my mask on for you and switch the camera real quick. All right, Cameron Appleby. You can be with the We're gonna cheer everybody. Oh, yeah, you can see yourself in the little picture, right? Okay, good. Because that's what's being shown, right? Yeah. Uh, Alyssa Ongst. Ryan Bansells. <laughs> Logan Bittiger. Is this Logan? Yeah, Logan. <laughs> Aaron Blake. <laughs> Mackenzie Brady. Jacob Button. Well done, Brooks Caslin. Peyton Dickerson. Alicia De Silva. Alicia. Josh Edwards. Here you go, Josh. Lily Fron. May Gorman. Sorry, I got a good bite there, May. Sorry. Wait there. Matthew Gubernat.
Chloe Hamilton. Uh -huh, it's getting a little, a little warm. Oh, Ava Heath. Nicely done. Fletcher King. Ian Lamont. Way to go, Ian. Senator. Where is she? Cece Lachesky! <laughs> Lovely. Haley Lookinbill! <laughs> I'm leaving at you, Haley. I know you can't see me. Woo! <laughs> Haley Lookinbill! That's right. Find a way. Bianca Mayer! Oh, I did. Sorry. Well, I'll, get, I'll go back. Oh, you're good. No, no. Come, come to it. Yeah. Bianca Mayer. Bianca. Lucas Blomquist. Sorry, Lucas. Well done. Chloe Manzari. Congratulations. Kevin Mayhew. Here you go, Kevin. Congratulations. Emma McDonald. Lacey McGraw. Congratulations to these great students and thank you families for your support all the way through uh, what's uh, more than a year of very, very strange times. Uh, we couldn't have done it without you. I know they couldn't have done it without you. So thank you very much. Bravo to your parents and your guardians and your aunts and your uncles. And also, what am I doing? Oh yeah, we have the, we have the guest speaker, right? Okay. And of course, Miss Kim. Thank you, Miss Kim. She looks forward to this uh, uh, every year. Okay, so we have, uh, even in this situation, we still found a way to do another, another tradition, which is a former Forest Hill student who is our guest speaker for today, right? Well, we're not allowed to have guests in the building, so she's coming to us via video and she made a video from Ireland which is where she was where she's uh, currently staying so hold on one second while I get that up so I'm going to try to play it here and just make it loud okay with our sound system it's hard to share the sound come on there you go 
Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a little loud, but I got to I got to do that so I can um, hear it. All right. Hopefully they're seeing that. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's move this down. That should work. And almost. There we go. You ready? Here we go. Hi, Forest Hill. My name is Hannah Heron, and I am calling you from Dublin, Ireland. Now, this year has been a little bit crazy for everyone all over the world, but I am so proud of all of you for getting all of your work done powering through this last year and getting to now, which is graduation. So huge congratulations to everyone. I am currently living in Dublin, Ireland with my dog, Thor. Say hi. <laughs> I was once in your position as well. I was about to leave elementary school and head off to North Hartford Middle. Now let me tell you, it is not as scary as people make it out to be. My first day of middle school, I got a little lost. But don't worry, we talk to all the teachers, all the students. They are so friendly and helpful. They will get everything figured out for you. Having the class changes is actually really, really nice. It gives you a nice break throughout the day and it helps you focus and stay concentrated on what you're working on. After North Hartford Middle, I went on to North Hartford High School. I had a great time there. I joined lots of clubs and activities. I was part of the drama program, the music, I did chorus and jazz band. I was part of student council. I got involved every opportunity I could. So my one piece of guidance as you go into middle school and high school is to join clubs, get involved. Don't be afraid to talk to people and just be yourself. I cannot stress that enough. When you're open and you're confident and you're friendly, people have a tendency just to want to talk to you. And that's the best way to do anything when it comes to entering into a new school. By making friends, getting involved, your transition from elementary school to middle school to high school will be great. So don't stress, don't worry. Everyone has been in the same position as you and you will do fantastic things. After high school, I moved to Washington, D.C., which is the capital of the United States, and I went to school at the Catholic University of America for business management. It was great. I loved being in a city. I loved being in the capital. There was always something going on and something exciting to see and do. Getting a college education is a fantastic opportunity to expand your knowledge, meet new people, and try new things. If anyone's considering going to college, make sure you work hard, get good grades to have all of your options available to you. So when you do apply to schools, you have any option you want. After going to the Catholic University of America, finishing up my undergraduate degree, I moved to Dublin, Ireland to get a master's in international political economy. That's a huge mouthful, uh, but it's a big degree about study of government and politics. So being in Europe has been a great opportunity, even though most of it has been in lockdown. It's important to make the most of all situations and just continue to be a positive person and a positive influence. When it comes to making new friends in a new place, it's so important to support the people around you, be kind, be caring, and always be a person people can come and talk to you. Congratulations on making it this far. I'm so excited to see what you guys will all do next in your careers, in your future, and as you go forward to middle school. Good luck and happy graduation. I'm dreaming of, and you need me to know what I'll be. 
Sorry if I gave any, anybody car sickness from moving the camera around. Um, thank you, Anna from Ireland. That was awesome. I had the pleasure of knowing her little sister. Probably many of the teachers knew Anna. <laughs> many of us, have, uh, many retrievers have been here a long time. Thank you again. Enjoy your breakfast. And families, we're signing off. So everybody have a great day. And we'll see you soon. Take care.